Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is, Will I Hear From My Ex On Valentine's Day? Now, this is video number 108. If you have a question you would like for me to consider featuring on the channel, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe and hit like. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, be sure to visit thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, will I hear from my ex on Valentine's Day? Now, from a personal perspective, I don't find Valentine's Day to be all that important. I don't know how many of you out there actually use Valentine's Day as a holiday of love, but I see it more as a bit of a holiday so that, you know, we have an excuse to spend money. But... Still, there are some people who hold it very close and very near and dear, and for some people it's even their favorite holiday. And so, can a holiday that's designed to be all about love, all about appreciating your partner, trigger your partner to reach out to you? Well, first off, let me say that it is entirely possible that you hear from your partner on Valentine's Day, and if you do, you know what to do. It's great to hear from you, and be a little humorous. Well, it's even funny to hear from you on Valentine's Day. How you been? Open up conversation, be light, gentle, calm, funny, and easygoing. And if the mood seems good, and if they seem flirty, then invite them out. Say, hey, I'm actually not busy tonight. Want to go out for some Valentine's Day dinner? But this video is about, will I hear from my ex on Valentine's Day? It's a hard question to answer, and there are many, many factors to it. Namely, how long ago was the breakup? What were the themes behind the breakup? Was it cheating? Was there emotional abuse? Or was it just, we grew apart? What I can promise you is that Valentine's Day will get your partner thinking about you. After all, the entire theme behind the holiday is love. And so, yeah, it's going to have them thinking about you. But let's pair this with some do's and do nots. First and foremost, please do not buy your ex anything for Valentine's Day. Don't get them a card. Don't get them chocolate. Don't get them flowers. Don't do it. Because think about what you're doing. Think about what that shows them. They broke up with you. They walked away from a relationship that you were willing to fix and work out with them. And so you're going to reward them with chocolate and candy and flowers that communicates weakness, it communicates subservience, it communicates that you really don't have respect for yourself or pride or any of those things that we need to love another person. Remember, I've said it before, if you do not respect someone, you cannot love them. Respect and love go hand in hand as it pertains to romantic relationships. And so please do not send your ex any sort of I'm thinking of you text, no candy. Frankly, you should be in no contact. Now, if you are going through a reattraction phase with your partner, and they're not quite back yet, they're not your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, yet, but you are talking, it is regular, they are coming to you, you're going on some dates, then I think it's fine to call them up and ask them out for dinner. But bear in mind, it depends where along that stage you are. And if you're not sure what to do, Reach out to me, come do a coaching, and we'll figure that out together. But for the majority of you in no contact, your ex most likely will not reach out. Now, before you panic, before you think that the relationship is gone for good and the fact that they did not reach out means that you're never going to have a chance to get them back, before you think all those panic thoughts, think about what the holiday means to them. And think about what it means to you. You've been in a relationship with this person before. Think about past Valentine's Days. Think about how you both acted on that day. Was the day particularly important, or was it just an excuse to go grab dinner? Now, I personally do not count Valentine's Day among the more important holidays, the ones that would trigger people to reach out. It does happen. And if it happens, you know what to do and how to prepare to be ready. But if it does not happen... Personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I can refer to a previous argument that I've used in the past when it came to New Year's and Christmas, which is, what if your ex is not reaching out because they know that they hurt you? And they know that reaching out again would remind you of this 
painful occasion, right? Let me just let them enjoy their day. It's a holiday about love. I broke up with them. That's going to remind you that the breakup happened. Maybe they were just having a good, pleasant day, not thinking about me at all. Maybe they're out with somebody else, and I don't want to ruin their day. And then the holiday ends, and then you hear from them next week, next month, maybe in a couple of months, or maybe you don't hear from them at all. But the point is, I think that we need to be cognizant of the fact that they're a person, they have many different thoughts going through their minds, and we're not always going to know what their thoughts are. So this is why I advocate against mind reading. Why didn't they reach out? We don't know. There could be a hundred different reasons, right? From they are afraid to reach out to hurt our feelings, to the day wasn't special to them, and so why reach out on a day that's not particularly special to them, to maybe they even forgot it was Valentine's Day because it's just not as big of a deal as it used to be. There are 100 different reasons, so let's not mind read. Now, as a special thank you to all the subscribers, I'm going to take my Valentine's Day, and I'm going to be spending it on the Twitch streaming service, which is another free streaming service open to everybody. And I'm going to be streaming for the better part of the day, doing different movie nights and games and things like that for those of you who want a distraction from thinking about your ex. Everything I'm doing will be interactive. I'll be talking to all of you. You can ask a couple of relationship questions. But really, the point of this one is to have fun. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and on the video poster. So all you need to do is follow my account, twitch.tv slash HiRory. And we will be playing a bunch of games that you can play right from your smartphone for free, if that's something you'd like to do. And also, join the Discord. It's there. It's a resource. It's helped so many people. And I can't wait to see you guys there. So, that's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free copies of my new book upon release, all you need to do is visit my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash thelovechat. Until next time.